everybody i thought um i would do like a day in the life snapshot and funny as it is this is a day where i have not worked all that much the only thing i have done is i have designed a themed kit so for those of you um, that have seen my calendar i have an update for you so tomorrow evening what will be released are going to be the functionals instead of the themed kit i had to do a switch because i have a few people waiting on the some of the functionals that are coming and uh there's there's a few things that are coming you'll see them to uh tomorrow evening i'm hoping that well today i'm hoping that this video goes out the day and I'm also hoping at the end of this video to also show you the new things that are going to be in the shop. So the snapshot for today is that I, I went to get my hair done because, uh, yeah, I, like my roots were like up to here. So one of the reasons why I hadn't been filming all that much with my face because my hair was just a mess, poor hair. So we went and got that done and then I found out that the contractor needed some tiles and uh, we, I had to drive like 40 minutes to go get them and then come back of course. So we get here and I'm like well I'm gonna start to work but soon enough I realized I and this is why I'm filming this today because even though I haven't worked all that much I will continue working and I'll film a little bit of that but then i realized that i had made a decision to make a big investment in my shop which is buying a new cutter i think it's going to be better overall uh, on the one hand because uh, i'm still small so my volume is not huge but i don't have employees right and i do everything and if i design the kits in a certain way where I design them and print different kits and cut them all on the same soup, I can make good use of the F mark. And uh, it's like a risky investment. Like I don't, I don't suggest anybody makes such a big investment at the point in business that I am, unless. Um, you can kind of like afford it so luckily for us i had been like saving up the money for that and um i'm kind of carrying over a little bit of savings from another shop that i had on etsy so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and do it i feel that the next step for me would be to hire somebody but i haven't quite wanted to do that yet so i thought well instead of buying uh, another set of silhouettes, which I recently had to buy two, and that's like $400. I said, well, you know, just making an investment and these machines are like $5,000 when, you know, everything is said and done and um, the consumables that that machine has are also quite expensive. But I also thought to myself, well, even if I don't take any type of profit from my shop this year, it's still worth it because there's so much more that I can give you guys. And I think it's gonna lower my le my levels of stress, which is just self-induced stress and sometimes it doesn't even make sense to be stressed about things. But what this means is that I will have more time for the designing part of the business. I struggle with putting things out on social media, sometimes even editing the YouTube videos. And I think that's just going to give me some wiggle room to do that. In the beginning, it's not. In the beginning, it's going to be a cumbersome process, I think, because I have a learning curve, of course, with this machine. But in the long run, I, I think it's a good decision for my shop. And I'm confident, like the way you guys are supporting my shop, the feedback that I get from you guys, the multiple orders that I get from you guys over and over, it shows me and tells me that you trust this shop and that you've used my stickers and that you like them and you keep on coming. So that to me says more than anything, a shop that has repeat customers is a shop that's 
you know, trustworthy in my opinion, right? And and that shows in the reviews and shows in everything. Um, so that's why my business has slowly been growing. So before it gets out of hand, I kind of want to be proactive and do this, right? Um, it would have made more sense for me to do this maybe March or April next year. But I said, you know what, I'm just gonna jump in, leap of faith. And uh, I, I mean, informed leap of faith. So anyway, uh, a lot of talking, but it's, it's exciting for me, right? I'm getting a new cutter and it's going to be huge. It's gonna be like a monster, but I'm gonna flip the camera around, kind of let you guys know a little bit what I have worked on today and a little bit of where I think I'm gonna be able to uh, set this little mini monster in all senses, monster because it'll be a monster working, but also monster because it is huge. So I think I have the spot for it. Let me turn you guys around and show you. Okay, so let me give you a little overview of my studio. It's not quite as tidy as I kind of like to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bag. I brought this back from upstairs. It just has a whole bunch of cleaning rags that I cleaned and I want to keep in the closet, in the cleaning closet downstairs. So this bag is right now with my other chair that I put to the side, but <laughs> so funny that it's there like, you know, popping in your eyes. And um, yeah, this is kind of like my inventory, some other little uh, baskets that I purchased. And, and I also as you can see over here i have a leftover bubble wrap from an erin condren order i don't like to throw that bubble wrap away because i feel that it's very good quality so i really don't want to mess with it and let me just show you here a little bit this is an echo dot that's going to go in our basement so i have to set this up i have to record my food i've been very good at doing this so i'm, I'm excited and i've been low carb all these days so it's super, super exciting. So anyway, um, I, I have my compact vertical. I was taking some pictures and yeah, you know, I have a little bit of a, of a mess over here in the table where I typically film. And for those of you that have been asking what my setup for filming is because they like how it shows, it's this and I have this gadget that holds my phone and it just faces my uh, my my tabletop my desk so anyway you know you see it's a little bit of a mess here and it's not quite messy I'm grateful for that but just not quite tidied up either so I need to tidy this up because just looking at this it, it, that type of clutter it just bothers me and I can't sit and design and work well. So this is the first thing that I'm going to be doing right now when I'm finally in my studio and I think it's like 8 p.m. I see myself working up until midnight today because all that happened today and I just couldn't. So these are my electrolytes and I have them there ready waiting for me. Um, and then I, um, I wrote down some information about the equipment that I'm going to buy and look at this guys i don't know i was trying to come up with that themed kit design let me know if you like this kit it's uh halloween flowers so it's kind of like a vintage halloween flowers type of kit and i also do have the images for the flowers so i i think that's going to make for some nice boxes for the uh, full boxes and um for some of the stickers and and clip arts and all that stuff so anyway just let me know if you like this this is kind of like a little bit of a of a preview because i want to do a theme kit with this one so then again this friday which is today when you're seeing this video you'll see the new items at the end of this video hopefully and then this is what i'm trying to design as the themed kit for next week and again, and, and this is here not because I smoke or anything. This is just here because um, sometimes I just need to burn a little thread or something or uh, we have like candles, happy birthday. So I really like to keep it up here because apparently 
uh, the straighter you keep it, the more it lasts. So anyway, and I used to make ribbons at some point. And when I had my other shop, my jewelry shop, I used to use it to burn the end of the threads. So that's why I have it here because sometimes I do make some of the jewelry. So I have some orders. Not all of those are pending orders. I just, at the moment, I have like two or three pending orders only. And my cutters, they have not been turned on today and I will turn them on. So let me show you uh, and look at this little mess I have down here. I have a whole bunch of cables. I need to get rid of them. And I have a little cute Hello Kitty stool and then the box of one of my cutters that I definitely need to um, put away. But anyways, back to my cutters. Like this is my cutting station, right? So let me just go further back. So what I was thinking is in this area over here, I should be able to fit a table that can hold, if not the, the, the F mark two machine, it'll be able to at least hold the cutters. So I will be able to transfer the cutters to that area and I will still be able to use the printers and everything over here. And this is a rolling cart. So that little rolling cart can definitely just uh, come over here. I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy, guys. It could come right next to this one. And I'm not even sure if I want to keep this keep this one here. If, if, you know, after like seeing everything and thinking, I don't even know if I want that here. So that might even go either upstairs or to the basement. If you open it, you'll see that it has a ton of stuff that's not mine. So what I was thinking is my daughter has been making clay bracelets and I think all her supplies can fit in there. So if I put it in the basement and she has a space where she can make her bracelets and stuff, I think that's going to be wonderful. And then my white cart is going to be um, over here. So again, uh, this is where I think I'm going to set it. Okay. Okay. So I just, right now I'm gonna go work. I have to still design some of the items that are going to be released tomorrow. And tomorrow I have to be here for a delivery. So I'll be working all morning and I should be able to have the new items out by the evening. So check the chop. I can't talk today, right? Check the shop in the evening or join the Facebook group. You'll see that the Facebook group will have everything, uh, like the announcements when new things come, come out and all that. So if you wanna be the first to know stuff, join the Facebook group. Typically I announce everything there and YouTube. Also, if you turn on the bell notifications, then you'll get notified when I upload a new video. So once this video uploads, I am hoping the items are published, but if not, then join the Facebook group because I'll for sure let everybody know when they're published there. Okay. Yeah. Let's get to working and I'll be back to kind of update you guys a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure how much work in progress I'll be showing in this video, but I will show some of it. And remember, let me know what you think of that Halloween flowers kit. Okay, see you soon. I'll update you in a bit. So I don't know if I said this already because I kind of lost track of the videos that I've been filming. I'm sorry about that. Um, however, I do want to, um, let me just put my computer to sleep. Otherwise, I feel that the fan makes a lot of noise. So hopefully um, that background noise will go away now pretty soon. And I am, I want to say maybe one third of the way through cutting the, um, the stickers for the new release. And I think these are my favorite guys. These uh, Chibi Girls uh, fall bucket list. I think they're super cute. I wanted to make them a little bigger uh, than what I usually make stickers because I think they will be perfect for decorating any of the planners, compact vertical, A5s or seven by nine daily duo, 
um, and any of the other life planner formats. I think they will all work very nicely. And I was just kind of thinking of using one per day or one per week, depending or like on weekends, one each day and uh, kind of keeping track of the bucket list type of things that you've done this fall, which is right around the corner. Well, I'm saying this and it's been very hot these past few days, but anyway. So I've, um, I, like my second favorite, of course, are the desks. So I, um, what I'm gonna do is instead of, I, I typically cut a few of each, but if I keep on doing that, I just won't finish in time for me to be able to film the video, upload it so that it's still Friday because it is Friday now. So I have to, um, I, I mean, I barely, I don't know, I barely cut, I don't even know if I'm a third of the way. I've only cut like four <laughs> sticker sheets, I guess. And I, I have plenty more to go. What updates can I give you guys? I spent all morning four hours waiting for a delivery that was supposed to come between nine and one. And seeing that it was noon and I had not gotten the call, typically from that company, when we get deliveries, it doesn't take that long. We get the call like mid morning. And seeing that we had not gotten the call, I called them, right? So it's almost 1230 by that time. And they tell me that it's gonna go out on the second run. So they told me nine to one and it's gonna go out on the two to six run. And uh, I'm glad I called because had I not called, who knows what would have happened. And I, that's how they lost some items from us at 1.2. I don't know what's going on and I know that they work with different companies, but it seems that all the companies they work with are crazy in this way. I have no idea. It's, it's just, <laughs> I have so many delivery stories that if I tell them all to you, you guys won't believe it. Like the first crazy one was that they left my daughter's trampoline blocking our garage door. Uh, who cares if there's a car or not in there, right? the guy rang the bell i have a ring doorbell and he left immediately after he rang the bell i couldn't even answer and he just left so i was not at home because they were supposed to call and nobody called nobody called saying that the delivery coming was coming the next day and nobody called saying we'll be there in about 30 20 15 minutes because the driver's supposed to call you when he's heading to your house so we didn't get any of those calls so i'm not home right but i am super close by by the time i get home he had already left the thing blocking our driveway so I had to call the company, ask them, because we have plenty of space on our driveway to put it in a place where it's not blocking anything. And there has been a lot of theft, uh, car theft around here. So the least that thing that we wanted to do was have my uh, husband not be able to get into his garage or have the car been in there and he needed the car to go to work. He couldn't have gotten it out. So next day, they said that that day they're gonna send somebody. They didn't send anybody. Next day they sent somebody. And the guy they sent, I mean, they hadn't sent anybody. So I had to call at noon. And the guy they sent, it was not the guy who left it, but, this guy could not believe what the other guy had done. He was like, wow, man, he has so much space everywhere to put it somewhere else. Why did he do that? I know, I don't know either. Anyway, um, another um, delivery story was that we are supposed to get this delivery. We get a call at 11.30 a.m. And they were supposed to come between eight and 12. So at 11.30, he calls me and he says, you know, my driver called in sick, so you're not going to get your delivery today. And I say, listen, this was supposed to come between 8 and 12. And your driver calls you that he was sick and you call me at 11.30. And then the guy is like, well, um, we've been calling customers in order of their deliveries and i say yes do you take three hours to call the customers if you take three hours to deliver do you take three hours to call the customers and then the guy was like you know he was like oh she got me right 
<laughs> type of thing. And I'm telling him, listen, I understand that with, with everything that's going on, things happen and drivers call you. So that's not my complaint. My complaint is not that you didn't come. My complaint is that you didn't let me know. You don't know what I had to do to be here for four hours waiting for you guys. And you call me three hours and 45 minutes in when it's almost 15 minutes <laughs> for, for that time period to end. And you know, that's a little bit disrespectful is what I'm saying. Like I would have appreciated a heads up earlier so that I could go on with my day knowing that my item was not gonna come. Uh, mind you that we had, you know, the contractor that was gonna install some things and all that fell apart. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Like my, my, my bother, I guess, was the lack of, uh, thoughtfulness, right? Letting people know, Hey, so that was happening today again. And I think that since I called knowing what they'd done before, um, the guy from the company that hires these other companies, like customer server guy, guy must've told them you got to have that house be the first house on the second shift because I couldn't film any of my videos this morning. I was going to film a whole bunch of plan with me, you know, thinking they'll be done by 10. I'll have two hours. I'll film. I couldn't film because I use my phone to film. And if I'm filming, I don't get the calls coming in. So anyway, uh, long story short, this is a rant and, and you know, the poor guy that came and brought it, he, he had no idea what had happened. He's like, I know it says here 921. And I say, yeah, and he's, and he's shaking his head, his head like they just gave this to me. So um, what happened? I don't know. Uh, I ended up getting the item. Uh, it was one hour later, which wasn't terrible, seeing that um, the other time it was like a few days later. But it's crazy it is so crazy how every time we have a delivery it's like a box of chocolates you never know what you're gonna get and most most times they're not oh and that other delivery where the guy got sick and they called me three half three and a half hours later after the guy didn't show up to work the guy says yeah on monday um and then the items didn't come there was supposed to be six of them and only two came so I don't know if this was just a story that the other guy had gotten sick or if it was just that they had lost my items. I have no idea. So all of this, and we're still missing four items. We have to go through the company. They're having an issue with their servers. Our emails are not coming in with the pictures. Nobody's helping us and we're calling like, what's going on? Nobody's helping us. We send these things and nobody's getting back to us. And the, the girl is like, we're not getting anything. And we're forwarding emails from emails that we send. And the girl's like, we're not getting anything. So finally we had somebody that was very nice, very thoughtful, very helpful. She helped us figure out everything. So a month later, month and a half later, we get the other four um, items, right? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I am glad that we set up a house once. And since we were coming from apartments, there was a lot that we had to kind of put into the house. Uh, we're still waiting. The guy that um, saw our dining room, they only had two of the chairs. The other four chairs were going to come. <laughs> we're going to come mid-August and i guess we're in mid-august now and we've been calling the guy and the guy says i need to call the company so um give me a few days i'll call you back doesn't call back uh then my husband emails him he doesn't call back so everybody is like unresponsive and i understand that they're not getting responses either from the manufacturers but everything has gone crazy with deliveries guys and I hope that also you understand when I send you things via USPS that if they mess up, it's, it's not really my fault. I, I mean, I wish I could um, have like, uh, like Etsy could have a deal like kind of Amazon has with certain providers that they have to really follow the times that they promise. I for sure follow my promised times, you know, and if I don't, which has maybe happened once i i've made it up to the customer um if i had to kind of ship uh one day later there there's always something that i do to make up for it anyway 
So what I'm saying is that deliveries are crazy. And since I have an online business, I, I have empathy and I understand. So to me is, is I'm never mad really to not get the item as frustrating as it is when you're waiting for something. I'm not mad by not having gotten it when I should have gotten it. I think my, uh, my bother is the lack of respect of not letting me know what's going on and keeping me kind of um, house, you know, a prisoner in my own house because I have to be here and can't move anywhere because I'm waiting for you. So uh, I, I had to end up canceling skating today because they were gonna come and we were not gonna have time to make it to ice skating, which was a little bit frustrating for Elisa, but well, again, you know, it is what it is. Uh, these things happen. Luckily, her instructor has time for skating tomorrow, so. Uh, anyway, all, all fine and good. So back to business because I took like a, a 10 minute rant. But these are just funny stories that sometimes I think you guys can understand and be empathetic to. I, it's, it's just so funny. Uh, then I'm super excited because then I was finally able to go out and get a gift. Uh, one of you guys sent me and I'm not saying the name because I don't know if you guys want me to say it or not but thank you so much it was super super fun and nice and i really really appreciate it i uh i'm i'm gonna show you the clip right now where i opened it because i did film it i was like i'm gonna talk about it but i'm gonna i'm gonna film it because i wanted to see what it was so let me just show you guys okay I am super, super excited about this. And uh, yeah, let's open it together. Let's see what you sent me. Let's see, let's see. It's so exciting, guys. You know, just having somebody send me something. It's, it's so super cute. So let's see. <clears throat> Magic Brands, Universal Guide and Blessing. Oh, let me see what it says. Let me read the card first. I hope you like this bundle I chose for you. Ah, that is so cute. Look at that, guys. I love it. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Just, oh, I don't even want to mess it up. So cute. I love the way that they um, put this sticker and have this paper, like some of you don't know, but I used to have a natural uh, gemstone or crystal jewelry shop on Etsy before Elisa Ravel stickers. And sometimes I had um, certain items and I never really knew how to like bundle them up, but you know, it was just kind of like items that I would add here and there. So, but this is such a beautiful way and that gold sticker, I don't know, it's it's so nice, right? It looks so high end. Oh, so this is a smudging bundle with selenite, which I think is always wonderful because I love Palo Santo and I, I don't necessarily love sage, but I do like to use it. So, Oh, but this one smells good though. There's some that I just don't like the smell of it. This one's actually pretty great. I'm, I'm actually kind of gonna throw away <laughs> the other one I had because I don't like the smell of that other one. This one definitely does smell nice. And oh, look, there's a little amethyst here. Let me just go open this up. So this is super cute. I know that some of you guys are not into this because this is basically not the channel for that, but I'll give you some tips. So you have amethyst, and this is a uh, raw amethyst, so it hasn't been tumbled. And you have selenite, which is very good to cleanse your crystals. So whenever you have crystals and you wanna cleanse them, you can either put them on a slab or a wand or something of that sort. So this is um, super nice. And you can see that this is such a shiny stone. And of course it is because it, it, it just came all the way cleansed on the selenite. And it was very well packed because this thing is fragile. So it came intact, all wonderful. And this Palo Santo smells very good. And it is my favorite thing to smudge. And it think of it as an incense 
like if you don't like these type of things think of it as incense and just you know waving it around i love it i really really love it and this one oh my gosh guys i smelled it again it smells so good i think it's sage but it, it doesn't smell like like some other ones that i've smelled before so this is definitely a keeper definitely i'm super super excited thank you so much you have no idea how much i am going to enjoy and use this you have no idea or maybe you do and that's why you sent it to me okay guys so i guess i will take a look at whatever's in here uh, i think that there's always a lot of things no matter how much you know there's always a lot of other things that you can learn uh, from each other so there you go and this goes very well with my reiki um so and you know my um my take on this is like a spiritual type of thing and um so it's more about energy for me and these are great tools to keep the energy vibrating high and oh my hands are getting so warm so like reiki is going directly to these things oh that is so cool i love it um it it, it came to the right house is all i'm saying so anyway i'm going to continue so this was a brief uh since i'm doing a day in the life like a brief update on what's going on in my life today and this surprise package is it okay let me update you more and let me flip the camera over i'm ready to wrap up i with everything said and done i cut all the new stickers and i uploaded the video showing them all to you guys already i didn't cut that many of each like the first time i cut functionals i only cut a small quantity of each i'm, I'm still a small shop so um even if you guys support it very well and uh, a few people buy it it's not like i'm gonna be running out anytime soon so i i cut a few of each and then i start adding to it a little bit if i see that uh, it starts becoming popular and i filmed the video with the new items i edited the video with the new items i actually uploaded the video so you should have seen it on friday this video even though i said that i wanted to get it out on friday oh we have like a plane over flying and it's funny because like my windows are vibrating so who knows what type of plane that was that was strange so i was saying that i wanted this video to go out on friday but it's quite not gonna happen i had to film a separate video for the new kids i i feel like i this is a very chatty um day in the life snapshot slash shop update it really started with me wanting to share the news about the new cutter that i'm that i'm purchasing that we purchased already because we purchased it already the new cutter that was purchased all the new kits that were coming out kind of uh asking you guys a little bit about what you thought about the halloween flowers that i started designing because i haven't quite finished designing it i kind of just settled on a pattern the other thing that i've done was create all the listings on etsy and, and that's kind of boring stuff so i didn't show that to to you guys and i showed you a little bit of the printing and the cutting but then again you know it's just kind of like the repetitive stuff of the day so uh, there wasn't all that much for a variety of the things that i was doing however i did get a lot done because i also i i had like those kits that i bought last year that i had um because i i love them so much that i wanted to use them for the fall kits this year there's a second one of those and that one is going to be used in the next release i also updated the shop calendar and that shop calendar i put it on the facebook group i still need to set it up for instagram so most likely that'll go on saturday on instagram i have what i edited 
some videos that I had filmed and had not edited. Even this video that you're watching right now, it's fully edited up until this video. So I still have to add this one and finish um, wrapping it up and, and kind of converting it and uploading it and all that stuff and, and choosing a thumbnail because that's all the stuff that's involved in videos. And uh, what else? Sometimes I feel like I haven't done all that much. But then when I start telling you guys everything that I've done, it's like, oh, yeah, I've done a lot. And I'll look at my daily duo because I, I have a few things here that um, I was looking. And I already set up my daily duo for tomorrow. So let me just kind of share that with you guys. So, yes, what I did was I changed because we're going skating tomorrow. And some of the tasks that I quite couldn't get to today, I put for tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I'm already making a list of how I'm going to upload the videos because I have like four videos that I have filmed that I have not uploaded, which are the daily duo for this week and the dashboards. Uh, I set up two of them, like page one page to the next. Let me just kind of show you this a little bit here so that you can... Uh, look forward to that video when it comes up uh, so I set them up and I uh, I I already um, edited all those videos so I have done a lot it's just that sometimes I feel like I, I'm not progressing well and I think it's all in my mind even though I like to think of myself as a calm person that doesn't get stressed I think that when I start thinking that way, that I haven't quite done everything that I should have done, I think that's just creating stress on myself because I've done a lot. So once I kind of just go over everything I've done, I realize, yeah, I've done a lot and it's good. It's okay. I'm not behind. I'm not ahead either, but I'm not behind. I do always like to be a little bit ahead because if anything happens, then I don't fall behind. I was hoping to film videos this morning. I couldn't. That's fine. I'll figure out a way to do it tomorrow because I want to start planning for next week already. So yeah, this is it. I... I'm sorry if the video was too chatty, if I went in too long about things that are not interesting to you guys. But that was kind of like a day in the life and there was a little bit of a shop update, but it was mostly not necessarily a day of the life in the sticker owner shop, shop owner, I mean. But, um, but yeah, it is, it is because all those things are part of me, like my family, what I'm doing for my family, all those deliveries and all those stuff, it's all part of my life. So yes, definitely, it is a day in the life. I have to stop doing this where, and this is why I don't film that many of these because something that I don't even know what it is that I'm going to show you guys. And I don't know if you're interested in any of this. So anyway, I'm going to stop ranting. I, I'm too chatty today. <laughs> I guess I need adults to talk with today, right? I haven't been able to have much of that other than the phone calls with the delivery company. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And hopefully the next one will be a little bit more hands-on. <laughs> Bye, take care.